The Gospel of today, taken from chapter 2 of St. Matthew, is telling us about the visit of some Magi, some wise men that were coming from the East. They made a huge, very long pilgrimage in order to meet Jesus and to kneel before him and to adore him. They also brought with them some gifts that were given to the Lord as a token of their um, humble adoration. That's, that's really beautiful. The thing is, what's the meaning of all that for us? Besides the scientific curious question about this, does this really, has this really happened? Besides that question, What's the meaning of this visitation? To our help come several words. Mystery, manifestation, revelation. Epiphany. Epiphany is the technical name of today's feast. What we are celebrating here is the epiphany. This word can be translated into manifestation, something that was hidden but then was brought to light so that you can know uh, that was something that was hidden before. The point is, what was hidden and how was it that it was revealed and to whom was it revealed? Well, in the second reading of today, taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, we have some clue about this. That mystery is about the manifestation of God's love for the Gentiles. The Bible calls Gentiles those peoples that were not of Jewish origin, and that means almost everyone with the one exception of the Jewish people. But the Apostle says that there was a mystery that was revealed to him. And that mystery is that we, we Gentiles, are co-heirs of the Jews, receiving the same benefits, receiving the same blessings, receiving the same heritage, that was promised to them. What was that promise? It's all about friendship. It's all about relationship with God. But flowing from that relationship comes the wealth of knowledge and confidence and hope and gifts from the Spirit. Because from that relationship, from that covenant, Everything streams, everything springs to life. So we are invited today to recognize that Christ has been manifested to us so that we can receive the gifts that were promised to one particular people. And we don't even belong to that people, but we receive the same gift. And that's the marvelous thing. And that's the, the powerful message that we receive today. It is far, far more than the anecdote of some strange visitors coming from the far east or the near east. Doesn't matter. Far more than that anecdote, what we are receiving today is the fact that God's love has been manifested in Christ for everyone. And that we are invited to receive that manifestation and to accept in truth what was given in truth. Happy and blessed epiphany to each one of you.